I did not want to return home without the magic lamp. And I had no way of knowing which was the way home. <laughs> you have trespassed upon the waters of my sea. What is your name? Sinbad the Sailor. Awaken the seas for Sinbad! <laughs> Good day, Sinbad. Young Alabar. Good day to you, my friend. Look, father. A feather from a seabird. Think how far it's traveled. Think of what it's seen. A feather? Hmm. It reminds me of what I've seen and how far I travel. A feather saved my life more than once. And in saving my life, it allowed me to continue my voyage and earn my fortune. It was the voyage that made the man. I don't understand, Father. Come, Malabar, and I will tell you a story of a poor sailor and the fantastic voyage that made a dream come true. When I was a young man, not much older than you, I had nothing but the clothes I wore and a heart filled with adventure. But one day, something happened. Ah, oh, Sinbad! What is it that could bring all of Baghdad to the docks in such a fashion? Has the river turned to gold? The Caliph has brought the magic lamp. In celebration of his birthday, he has promised to summon out the genie and gift the city with food and clothing. I have never seen such beauty. Who is she? She is the Princess Morgiana, the daughter of the Caliph. <laughs> You'd best see her in your dreams, Sinbad, because she lives in a world forbidden to penniless sailors like you and me. Then I will somehow win the fortune to win the princess. Good people of Baghdad! It is the lucky man who has so much happiness. It is the wise man who shares that happiness with those that make him lucky. Behold, the genie! Your wish is my command, Master. I wish clothing and food for my friends, the people of Baghdad. It shall be done. How can it be? Whoever possesses the magic lamp, possesses the power of the genie. The genie obeys the wishes of his master without fail. Then we are fortunate that the Caliph is a good man. If the genie were to be ruled by evil... Look! In the river! <laughs> now I possess the magic lamp. I possess the power of the genie! Do away with this ogre genie. My wish is your command. <laughs> your wish is useless now. I hold the lamp. Return to the lamp, genie. My wish is your command. <laughs> Look, 
I will use it to make a dream come true. Who sails with me? I do. I would sail with Sinbad to the ends of the earth. Perhaps that is where our voyage will lead us. Let's fill our sails with wind! old man of the sea come from? From the Black Isle. He lived inside the Palace of Tears and left it only to spread his evil across the sea. Why didn't someone do away with the old man a long time ago? Because, my son, no one knew where the Black Isle was. Many had set out to follow him before. An island! An island the likes of which I have never seen. Bouncing back. Nothing. No fruit to eat. No trees to water to drink. And if my eyes do not deceive me, it appears to be freezing. Sinbad! The island! It's, it's alive! Drifting aimlessly in an uncharted world. I couldn't go back. I knew not what lay before me. Never had I felt so alone. soaked meat was the only food I had. Not enough for a hungry man. my grandfather had told me about when I was a boy. And the white dome I hid beneath was its egg. I knew I must escape before the rock made me its lunch. And that I must use the one thing that I owned that the rock did not. My wits. 
the ability to think is man's treasure alone. My pursuit of the old man of the sea had taken me far off course. I was lost. A world forgotten by time. that keep you in. A fortune in my hands. Yet nowhere can I spend. <laughs> when has so much ever been worth so little? You are right in laughing at the rich man. I would give all my fortune just to fly like you. my luck that time. I was still not prepared to become a lunch for those beasts. There are times when a simple feather can be of use to man. This feather saved my life. When you left that island, where did you go? I set sail in quest of the old man of the sea once again. I did not want to return home without the magic lamp. And I had no way of knowing which was the way home. I hoped that the old man would find me. This hope was soon realized.
I judged from the size of the footprint on the yellow beach. Large ones. No harm. Take what you will from us and go. I have no wish to harm anyone. And never have I taken that which is not mine to begin with. Then you were not sent by Baba Mustafa? Baba Mustafa? No. I am Sinbad, but a simple sailor. I am named Amal, and I am the leader of my people, the Badrubadors. We would offer you all we have, but since Baba Mustafa came, we have nothing left to offer. I saw the monkeys. Why would you stand trembling like cowards and allow mere monkeys to steal from you? It isn't the monkeys that we fear. It's Baba Mustafa, an evil cyclops 50 feet tall. He sends the monkeys to steal from us and then take what we have back to him. It's a tax, the price we pay him to leave us alone. And now, now that you have nothing left, how do you plan to pay your taxes? I suppose we can always make him another pair of shoes. Shoes? Yes, shoes. Then I learned a story of the Badrubadors. There was a time when they were a proud and prosperous people. But one day came Baba Mustafa. When the Badrubadors refused to pay him the taxes, he stepped down on their village, crushing all they had beneath his huge feet. Why didn't they fight him? Because, my son, Baba Mustafa had crushed their courage and spirit, just as he did their village. They lost their dignity. Then Baba Mustafa ordered us to make him a pair of wooden shoes out of the smashed buildings. And we did, I'm ashamed to say. We've forgotten how to be brave. Maybe you, Sinbad, could help us. I would, gladly. 
But I've already lost too much time. I'm searching for the Black Isle, and I don't know the way. The Black Isle? I know the way. I can help you if you help us with Baba Mustafa. Agreed. slug? Or is it the tiny little man who steals from Baba Mustafa? Well, speak. Tell me, which are you? I am neither an earthworm nor a slug. I am a man. And compared to you, all men are tiny and little. But I do not steal from you. You are the thief! <laughs> you dare call the great Baba Mustafa a thief? <laughs> You're only half right. You are a thief. But you are not great. Fast, tiny man, but not fast enough. <laughs> what are you going to do with me? Anything I want, tiny man. Anything I want. <laughs> Wait here until I decide what to do with you, tiny man. <laughs> What could you do, Father? There was absolutely nothing I could do, my son. <laughs> this hole. Would it serve as my tomb? A mongoose? Here, you didn't come just to keep me company. Yes, I see. You're just hungry and searching for food. Well, I've got something for you. Hmm, you like it. Let's make a trade, then. Just show me the way you came here. Didn't you fear losing him in the darkness, Father? Yes, but I came across an idea that would make good use of the diamonds that had so far been worthless to me.
flickering like a candle in the wind, the diamond gave new light to my nightmare in the volcano. It lit the path to freedom. As bright as the sun was that greeted me outside, nothing would ever outshine my memory of that diamond that saved my life. Then you are free to pursue the old man of the sea once again. Not yet. There was an agreement with the Baldrubadors to fulfill. Time is over. I want you to go for a walk now, back to the volcano. What tastes good after an orchard of fruit trees? Mm. A tiny man, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny man has escaped. What? Who speaks such lies to the great Baba Mustafa? It is no lie. He has tricked you. Look and see. He is gone. a tiny little man. Please, free me! Free you? So you can steal and destroy what isn't yours again? Oh, I, I promise you. Please, free me! Your fate rests with the Badrubadors now. Baba Mustafa will use his time in the volcano to consider changing his evil ways. If so, then we will free him. Thank you, good friend, for returning to us our strength. Your strength was always there. You just forgot where to look for it. It was in your hearts all along. Sail towards the sun for five days, brave Sinbad. You must pass through the kingdom of Serendib and give to the king the treasures we put aboard your ship. He can tell you the way to the Black Isle, but you must buy his directions with a gift. Farewell, good friend. Farewell. You had been through so much, Father. Why didn't you just give up your dream and, and sail home? I hope my early arrival hasn't caused any major dislocation. I don't like intruders, so we're gonna leave before he gets here. What will this Nambar do with me? 
You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> large one. You waste your rage on the wrong man. Save your strength and your anger for the men who have deceived us both. We share the same feelings of anger, large one. Come, let us be off and share the battle. On, Namba, to the burial ground. as I am to see them gone, Namba. They take with them the one thing I need to continue my journey. A ship. I'll never reach the kingdom of Serendib without a ship. being carried not to the sea, but further and further inland, to the kingdom of Serendip. I could only marvel at the wonder of this magical underground world in which I sail. Even the stars overhead were dying twinkling to brighten my way as I travel deeper into the earth. The kingdom of Serendip. You don't. You can walk about freely. Whereas I, the king of Serendib, am confined to this cursed stretcher because of a few extra pounds of weight. I have traveled the world just to find you, your majesty. Yes. Well, you found me just in time for your execution. Execution? Do you have trouble hearing me? That seahorse you frightened off might have been the one that could carry me. But your majesty, I've come to you to ask the way to the Black Isle. Yes? You, uh, did bring me a gift, I hope. I did have a gift, but, uh, I fear I lost it in a whirlpool at sea. Oh, that's too bad. I do enjoy my gifts. A moment, Your Majesty. I can make you a gift that will solve all our differences. Oh, a saddle. What is a saddle? I accept your gift most gratefully. <laughs> now I shall show you the way to the Black Isle. As for me, I have a lifetime of moving about to catch up on. Farewell! I 
left the underground world of Serendi behind me. The seas had turned to black. I was nearing the black eye. What manner of curse are you, Sinman? You escaped my wishes so often. of black coral, I knew that this was the Black Isle. The Palace of Tears. Named from the tears of others. Tears caused when the old man called storms and swollen seas to shipwreck and sink a thousand ships. Here is where he kept all that remained of those ships. My master warned me that you might come. I have been commanded to take your life. Your master is evil itself. That is not for me to say. I am to do only what my master orders me to do. <laughs> so you're pretending to be a genie? Pretending? I am a genie. Did you not see me come from within the magic lamp? A magician's trick. Even I could squeeze into a lamp as large as that one. The test of a true genie would be his success in entering something as small as this diamond I hold in my hand. I shall prove to you that I am a true genie, and then I shall make your death all the more unpleasant for disbelieving. I cannot find the way out. Please, help me. There is a way out. Show me, free me, and I shall serve you and my master for all time to come. To leave the diamond, you must simply close your eyes to evil and follow the goodness of your heart. I humbly await your bidding, master. You! As your new master, I command you to capture the old man of the sea and prevent his evil from escaping for eternity. Stop! I am your master! Do you hear me, Genie? I am your... And so I return from my adventures a rich man only to become rich beyond my wildest dreams when the princess became my wife. Ah, my lovely wife. Shall we walk in the gardens while our son ponders a story I told him? What is this? A wedding gift from the caliph. Master. It's true. 